Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze the simply supported beam by finding the support reaction, by finding the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. So here is a simply supported beam of 8 meter length and there is a uniformly distributed load of 4 kN per meter acting on the whole beam. And here is A support, which is a hinge support, and here is a B support, support which is a rural support. So we have to first find out the support reactions. It means the reaction here, here will be upward reaction RA, and here is hinge sub, rural support, so it can also take the vertical reaction RB. Here, this horizontal component of the hinge support, it can take also horizontal. But in this case, it will be equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on the beam. So first of all, we have to find out the support reactions. By support reactions, it I mean to find out the RA and RB. And then we have to draw the shear force and to create or make the shear force diagram. And after that, we can draw the bending moment diagram from the shear force diagram bending moment diagram so we have to analyze this simply supported beam now the first one is to find out the support reaction so it's very easy to find out the support reactions r a and r b for a simply supported beam how i will show you in a very easy step so you have to just follow this step so how so you to multiply the load which is acting on the beam is a uniformly distributed load of 4 kN per meter. So you have to multiply this load 4 kN per meter, multiplying it with the distributed length. The distributed length is 8 meter. So to multiply this is 8 meter, so meter meter will be cancelled. So we got here 32 kN. So 32 kN is the concentrated load acting on this beam. So we change this uniformly distributed load. This is the UDL load. We change this UDL load into a pointed load. So now 32 kN load will be acting here at the center of this beam, here like in this way. So 32 kN acting at the center of the beam. So half load will be taken by RA and half load will be taken by RB. So it is very simple. RA will be equal to the 32 is the total load dividing by 2 because half load will be taken by this support and half load will be taken by this support. So 32 divided by 2 equal to 16 kilonewton. So RA is equal to 16 kilonewton. And similarly, RB will also take the half of the load. So 32 divided by 2 equal to 16 kilonewton. So here 16 kilonewton. So this is a very easy way to find out the support reaction for a simply supported beam with a uniformly distributed load. First you have to change this uniformly distributed load into pointed load and then you have to find out the support reaction. So this is the first step to find out the support reaction. Now the second step is to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. Now 16 kN, 16 kN are the support reaction. So here I can draw it is 16 kN and this is also 16 kN. So now to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram here we can draw the reference lines And here one at the middle of the beam, we can draw the shear force reference line. First one is the shear force in the unit of kilonewton. And then we can draw for the bending moment diagram. Bending moment in the unit of kilonewton meter. So now to draw the shear force diagram, we will start from this A support. So Starting from this 16 kN load reaction is acting in the upward direction. So we will bring this reference line 0, 0. We will bring this to upward 16 plus 16 plus 16. Bring this up to 16 value. And then there is uniformly distributed load acting downward. Which is, which is 4 multiplied with 8, 32. Because 4 into 8 is equal to 32. And this four force is acting in downward direction, so it will be negative, so it is minus 32. So 16 is plus here, positive, so plus 16, minus 32, we got 
minus 16. So we'll bring this line into minus 16. It should be exactly linear line, so minus 16, which you see here is the support reaction at B point. So this is the shear force positive and this is the shear force negative. So this is the shear force diagram. Now to draw the bending moment diagram, you to find out the area of the shear force diagram. So this is a triangle and this is also a triangle. The total length is 8 meter, the half is 4 meter. Because it is a uniformly distributed load, so its shear force is always become zero here at this point, which is the mid of the beam. So the mid of the beam is 8 meter divided by 2, which is 4 meter, and this distance is also 4 meter. So we have to find the area of this triangle. Area A1 is equal to half base into height. So it will be equal to the half base is 4 meter into height is 16 kilonewton. So we got here. By multiplying and dividing, we got here 32 kilonewton meter. So 32 kilonewton meter here is the point, this point. So starting from here, 0 from here, and then 32 kilonewton meter is acting at this point. So this corresponds to this one. Now this one, this triangle is also a right angle triangle, so half base into height so half base is again 4 meter and height is 16 so we again got 32 but now this is negative because this is a plus shear force diagram this is negative because it is below the reference line so this is negative so it is minus 32 so this one is plus 32 so plus 32 and minus 32 we got 0 so we will get here the 0 bending moment diagram at this point so this is the bending moment diagram and shear force diagram for a simply supported beam. You should always keep in mind that this is a linear line of 1 degree. So the bending moment diagram should always be 1 degree greater than the shear force diagram. So this will be a second degree line or we can say parabola line. So hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe or channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.